Yeah, it's not filming, is it? And it's in places. Hey, so today I thought I would film a Halloween makeup vampire look. I've got so many things down here in front of me. I'm really excited. This is my first ever makeup tutorial. I've got some candles and light and trying to make the light like, like, look a bit spooky. I'm sorry if it hasn't worked. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump straight into it. I've put some talc into a little um, top. I've already filled in my eyebrows. I've got my mirror here as well, so... I'm sorry, I'm just look like I'm doing this. I'm just going to tip this brush, which is from Poundland, and go all over my face. And it's got you can go into your hair if you want it to. It's supposed to look dead after all. Usually, if you're doing this, I would suggest not putting it all over yourself as well. But hey ho. And you can get talc from anywhere, Super Drug Poundland, uh, any supermarket, really. It's just typical things you can buy. So you don't have to put a brilliant amount on, just like a little amount. If you follow me on Instagram, you uh, you would saw I put a picture up of me wearing do it and doing the Halloween makeup. And that should be enough, I would say. It's, like I said, it doesn't have to be much. You can put lots and you can put not that much on. It's really up to you. I'd like to put a fair bit on. Just like that. Like I said, it's not bringing my lighting also isn't brilliant, but yeah. That's the look I am going for. It's gone all down you, but that's fine. It doesn't matter about you because you're meant to look really gross and stuff on Halloween, aren't you? So that's the look I've gone for. You can you can add more talc and powder on as you go as well. So the next thing I'm going to go for is my eyeshadow. I like to do quite dark eyeshadow. So I'm going to go for this eyeshadow here. It doesn't actually have a name, which is helpful. Yeah, if you know what that really dark colour is... Let us know in the comments down below. So I'm going to grab my brush here, dip it in and literally just put it all over the light eyelid. It can be as messy as you want it to be. Lots and less or however. I literally just do it on both. By the way, I'm not going to be quick in this video, I'm going to be doing it step by step, so if it's long, I'm sorry. I just, it's my first ever makeup tutorial, so yeah. Eye by eye. You can have some down there anyway, because you're going to go underneath your eyes. With the same brush again, I'm quickly just going to take over this colour right next to the black, which I also don't want it's called. This palette, by the way, is from Primark. I got it for Christmas last year. Ouch. And literally, it doesn't matter about the brushes, but it, I stress if you're using like some of your popular brushes, then wash them afterwards. And I'm just going to stick that in the upper corner of my eye. And then just, I'm going to use my finger to blend together. You don't want this to go, really don't need it uh, to look neat or tidy because it's meant to look messy and dark and sort of a bit beaten up. So that's that, I'll do it quickly for the other eye. Right. So now that's done, I'm going to quickly go to my other primer palette, which is the Lovable Luxuries eyeshadow palette, which I got years ago, which is all I know really bad. And I'm going to get my other brush, which is this brush, which is, I can't remember where it's from, and to go for this blue shade, which is, still hasn't got a name, which is annoying. And just do a really big sort of... Sweep on top and sort of go out a bit like that. 
the same on the other eye. Ouch, I poked myself in the eye. Don't poke yourself in the eye whilst doing it. And that. Like that. I also sometimes feel like when you do this, add a little bit of colour always helps. So I'm going to add a tiny, tiny bit of purple, a lighter purple, just on the top. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is add this very, very nice sort of sparkly black underline with this brush from front cover with the Art of Our PS Loves Eight Shade Night Eyeshadow Palette, which is this one here. I'm just going to go underneath the eye, like so. Honestly, you, you're going to add, or I'm going to add, or other eyeliner as well. Such a as messy as that. And it doesn't have to look neat at all or anything. So once that's done, I will do my eyeliner. I'm doing two eyeliners, so this is where this makeup look go on. Second, the first eyeliner I'm going to use is for my water crease, which is just the Studio London Eye Pencil. And I'm literally just going to open it. I'm actually going to use the mirror in this to do this so I don't break that hurt myself. So, yeah. I'm just going to. doesn't need to look neat at all, just a bit of a sort of mess. Like that. I'm going to do a little flick on each side, even though it has nothing to do with the look. Like that. So at the minute, if you've got uh, talc in your hair, you look a bit mad slash like an old witch, because my hair's really um, but next I'm going to use the MUA Wet Look Eyeliner for a winged eyeliner. I can't do winged eyeliner but it's perfect if you want to do a Halloween makeup look and bugger I've just got eye wet eyeliner on my duvet. Just shut your eye and quickly, well not quickly but slowly as possible go over your eye. Like that. I've done a bit of a wing, but it's gone a bit wrong look. But it's fine for Halloween because it doesn't have to look blue for Halloween. And just the same again for the other eye. Ow, but don't hope to fell in the eye whilst doing it. And that is that. Sorry if this video doesn't have to talk too much, I'm trying to concentrate. Do -do. That will do. It's not brilliant, but it's not meant to be on Halloween. If it goes wrong, it doesn't matter. The next thing I will go for is blush. I am doing, using uh, MUA <laughs> blusher in marshmallow because I want to have the really rosy cheeks up there. So I'm just going to do a massive sort of sweep like that. I don't. Oh, up my cheek. And same for the other one. So, okay, and, and that was a brush from Poundland. The next thing I would use is my Miss Forty mascara. Literally, you don't want much mascara on because you've got quite big eyes already. But at the end of the day, if you want to put eyelashes on, you can. I don't know how to do them, otherwise I would have. But yeah, literally just a couple of strokes up each eye. And 
and it should look like that. It's pretty creepy. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use is my MUA lip liner. Uh, this is actually used for two things, which you will see. The first thing is to lip line my lips. It doesn't have to look neat at all. And the next thing is to, I know it's really weird at the moment, don't worry, to do a couple of cuts on my forehead. Because you're meant to be a bit tumbled and some blood going down here that coloured in. Try not to do it in the Harry Potter sign, no, it's not the best of looks. So, um, try not to hurt yourself as well. And the last thing I'm going to do is, well, second to last thing I'm going to do is fill in my lips with my sleek lipstick in Russian Roulette, and it's just a really dark red. That's what it looks like. And that's that. But if you'd like to as well, you could just grab your powder and sort of quickly put it over yourself again. And that is that. And that's how I do my very awkward slash alright Halloween look. I will. Most of the stuff is drug. Is all the stuff is drug. So apart from this, which I got in a set a couple of years ago, but I love it. I'm sure you can find it on eBay or somewhere. If you like the video, give it a massive thumbs up, and I will see you soon with another video. There, are, I'm filming all these videos in the next couple of days because next week my brother's coming down, so I don't want to be editing stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.